Hey everyone, Reed Henricks, and today what we're going to talk about is how to set up your rifle. You know, rifles that you use for self-defense and defense of your family and your home. Uh, good overall uh, pieces of the puzzle that will be very helpful to you. So I'm going to show you what I got on my personal rifle. Uh, this could apply to an AK, an AR, M14, FAL, whatever it is that you use, I don't care. Uh, just make sure it's loaded when it's ready to go. So I'm going to show you what's on my rifle, and I'm going to tell you what, these, what a rifle should have on it. Okay everyone, this is my personal rifle. It's an Arsenal SLR 107. This is my go-to. It's It's been, you know, my go-to rifle for the past four years. I really like this gun a lot. It's it's very reliable. It's worked in all conditions. Ice, snow, sand, you know, pseudo-tropical Tennessee weather. It doesn't matter. It still works. But I'm going to show you guys, you know, this could work for an AR. It could work for any other rifle that you have, as I said before. But as you'll notice what this rifle has on it, every rifle that you're going to be using for self-defense, folks, should have a few things. And the first thing, as you'll see from my rifle, okay, the first thing you're going to see is it's got a built-in set of iron sights. AKs have this stuff, guys. Uh, AKs already have iron sights built into them. You AR shooters, you may or may not have iron sights. I don't know. But what I do know is that you should have them on there. If the rifle does not come with them, you need to put iron sights on that. You really, really need a set of iron sights. I just call them iron sights. That's, that's what they are. They are, belong on every rifle you're going to be using uh, to defend yourself. That's your reserve parachute, folks. Uh, you may not always need it, but when you need it, you better have it. All right, so that's how I look at, at iron sights. All right, you can do really a lot of good things with iron sights. All right, you guys that are you know have shot a lot, you know they're you can shoot them pretty far. Uh, all right, so that said, I also believe in optics as well. Optics are a great addition to any rifle that you're going to have. It helps, you know, it, it, to me, I, I think it just, e it really easy. It, you know, makes the process very easy. You don't really have to line up your sights. You just put the red dot where you want the bullet to go, and there it goes. Uh, my personal favorite is aim point, all right? I love aim point. They're amazingly durable. I've dropped this sight off of six feet of concrete, picked it up, and made a shot at 300 yards with it. Didn't shift zero or anything. Uh, so this is a very sturdy piece of gear. It's a Micro T1. I uh, really enjoy it, although they've got other lines as well. If you're worried about price, you know, the Aimpoint Pro is pretty solid. Uh, Aimpoint makes good stuff. You're going to get a red dot, in my opinion. You know, that's the best one that there is. All right, Aimpoint. Buy it once, cry once, get quality, be done with it. You won't have to buy another red dot for the rest of your life. Uh, by the way, this one's been on for four and a half years. I've literally turned the dot on and left it on. Uh, your red dot or your optic needs to be on when you pick this rifle up. You shouldn't have to press buttons in the middle of the night when somebody's breaking in your house trying to hurt you or your family or your wife or anybody else. You know, you got to be able to have this thing on and know it's going to be on. And that's what Aimpoint provides. You don't have to press any buttons under stress, you know, thinking that you're going to somehow be able to do that. All right, these are on. Leave them on. I like Aimpoint. The other item that you're going to see on here, folks, is a white light. Uh, if I shine this up there, boom, it's pretty bright, isn't it? Uh, this is a Surefire Scout, the uh, 600. All right, what I like about this is it's white light. It also has IR. All i got to do is turn this, and it's got IR light. You guys know I like to have night vision. I like to shoot at night when it's really dark, because if you can do it then, it's really easy. <laughs> All right, but you need a white light for a lot of reasons. I'm not in the habit of turning flashlights on when, you know, my life's in danger. The only reason I turn this light on is to make sure at what I'm shooting at, Okay, you need to be sure. Okay, this you need to be absolutely sure. This is for for identifying what you're shooting at. All right, rule number four is be sure of the of your target and what's beyond it. You need to be sure what you're shooting at. This is a good thing. Every rifle that you're going to be using for personal defense should have a white light on it. Everybody, you need to do that. I happen to like Surefire. They're good to go. They're durable. They work. I uh, baked one of mine in an oven at 400 degrees for a half hour one time because I forgot to take it out when I was preheating a pizza. Took the batteries out, put new ones in, the thing still worked. These things are durable. They're expensive, but they work. Any Surefire will do. I just happen to like this one, okay? Uh, you guys will wonder about this flashlight mount. This is IWC Thorntail. Uh, it pushes it very far forward on an AK for in front of that front sight. As you can see, there won't be any front sight splashback. It shines a very good sight picture on there when you need it to, okay? But you AR people, you won't need a mount like this. You can use whatever you want. But for AK guys, it's another option, all right? But you need a white light for sure. Uh, what you also need on your rifle, folks, just a regular old sling. You see, this is a regular old nylon sling. On my other AKs, I've got the nylon comblock cotton sling. Nothing special about it. You don't need to spend extra money. The sling that came with the rifle is fine. The only purpose for the sling is to attach the rifle to your body if you need to, okay? Uh, other thing you'll see on here is a tourniquet. I have a TK4 tourniquet in there. Every rifle that I use for, for defense 
or, or anything else has a tourniquet on it because if we're in the business of launching bullets, there's a good chance we're probably going to take some too. You wouldn't expect to get in a fist fight and not get hit. Well, I'm not expecting to get in a gunfight and not get hit or at least grazed, so I want to be able to stop that bleeding with that tourniquet. So a tourniquet pouch attached right to the sling with the, uh, not only through the loops, but I also stopped it with that uh, safety pin right there. Kind of a, just an easy way to do that. All right, so that's basically what your rifle should have on it, folks. Uh, white light, a sling, and if you want an optic, that's cool. You don't have to. I'm just saying it makes it a lot easier. You can definitely get by with iron sights, and there's nothing wrong with those either. But this is what I got on my rifle. I know it's an AK. I know a lot of you guys are AR-15 shooters out there and other rifles as well. That's cool too. I don't care which one you do, but uh, your setup's going to be similar, and those are just some ideas for a good rifle. All right, everyone. I hope that you found that useful. The important thing is you gotta have that. You gotta have that white light on there. Uh, you gotta have that good sling on there. That's the way to roll. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to subscribe. Check out the Facebook link below. I know Reed has Facebook, right? <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't my idea. That uh, was my better half. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, I just hope that you got value out of this. I really appreciate your audience. I really appreciate my subscribers. I really appreciate you all watching this video. I want you to live, folks. I really do. There's a lot of bad people out there, and I want you to live. But you got to have a gun, and you got to have it loaded. When you, somebody breaks in your house, you want to shoot them with a long gun. Whether it's a shotgun or a rifle, I showed you how to set up that rifle. All right, but please remember, folks, we've got to be ready. All right, you're not going to have time to screw around when, when lives are on the line. Care about you guys.